friend that I have to move in the summer due to no fault of my own. He looks at me and the wide eyes staring at me, the really? That is less a question and more a goodbye fills my eyes with tears. I am wondering how I got here. I am leaning against a counter filled with alcohol and watching a drunk man talk to a woman with slurry eyes and blurry speech and I hope that I will never have to speak to him. He looks at me, winks, and I look down at my body like the enemy. I am walking home from school in eighth grade thinking of our upcoming musical. A car passes by, a man leans out the window, screams at a 13 year old girl, hey sexy. I cringe. I look down at my body like the enemy. It is midnight. 2016 has been brought in by people I don't know, in a place I don't know, with a dog I don't know sitting beside me. I am standing with the boy who brought me here. I don't know him either, I realize. I kiss the dog because I am too scared to kiss the boy. I am sitting in a boy's dusty room underneath a sweater with him, his forehead against mine. His breath is a truth I've never been told. My entire body is electric. I remember the dodgeball game. I break the silence because I am afraid to kiss the boy I no longer know. I at my best friend's house. She has tossed me a tennis ball. I roll it over in my hands, throw it too far, and sit on her carpet. She brings it back to me, drops the ball, lays her head in my lap. I move her hair into her face because I am afraid to kiss this girl. I am walking back to the boy's house with him and my sister. In the neighborhood, a family sets off fireworks. A little girl runs about with her hair in her face and her jeans too small. I wonder if she will find love one day. I am sitting in Oklahoma grass at a drive-in movie. I am watching the movie with wide eyes and overly large braces. I am watching with fearful little hopes. I am 15 and feel 30, 35. I am 15 and feel 7. I look at a boy's exploding sparkler beside me. Can he not see that we're watching a movie? I pull out my phone to check the time. I look at that little girl and I wonder if she will find love one day. I am laying on the boy's floor staring at the ceiling. It is 3 a.m. and I have no desire to leave. I am laughing. This boy is so funny and he deserves love. I'm thinking of a little girl in a drive-in movie who deserves love. I am thinking of a girl with tears in her eyes at a baseball field who deserves love. I am thinking of a little girl who does not think that she deserves love that deserves love. I am thinking of myself, of all the memories this little girl has of quiet, snowy New Year's, long New Year's where she was forced to eat black-eyed peas, New Year's she does not think she deserves. I am this little girl now. And I am learning that new years are not always new people. There are not always magical beginnings. I am laying on this boy's floor so full of love I, love, I can barely breathe. I wish the girl at the kickball field, the girl in the drive-in, the girl under the sweater, the girl who was catcalled at 13, the girl who kissed a dog out of fear, a happy new year.